The world has always evolved in a symbolism of destruction, whether for ideas, war, or climate change. Excluding certain elements of human life such as ways of thinking and methods, all this deprives the world of what it really needs and ultimately destroys it. We have had characters who have left their mark on history and others who have been the cruel shadow of history. They are, so to speak, underestimated characters but very important nonetheless. All these characters had in common a different way of thinking, a poor regard for their community and assassination. All the human sciences are linked in an invisible way since they contribute to life and inspire each other. There is nothing insignificant and there is nothing that exists by chance. It is true that all these people with these common points could have had a different destiny and perhaps they could not achieve their own life experiences as well as the discovery of another form of truth. These shadowy figures I'm talking about were named Socrates, Gandhi, XXX Tentacion, and the Witches of Salem. Gandhi believed in absolute reality and the beauty of human feelings. Gandhi was a righteous pacifist who fought throughout his life for respect for human beings, regardless of gender and ethnicity. XXX Tentacion had a rather tormented life and childhood but thanks to music he was able to find his own balance and inner peace. By exploiting his art, X was able to open up to the world and raise his awareness of the reality of the world and his community. XXX Tentacion had managed to raise his awareness of himself and goodness through good deeds. X had several ethnic origins and it was perhaps his roots that showed him the path to follow to reach another way of thinking and of seeing an immaterial reality. Broadly speaking, X's message was universal in all spheres of reality with a strong notion of human destiny. In the Afro-descendant community, especially among young Afro people from all communities around the world, there is a survivalism warrior mentality that is common among them. I have known this environment for several reasons which are family, school, temporary. The witches of Salem were those women that all the villages feared for their mysterious abilities, when in reality and from a rational point of view, these women were educated and intelligent. The witches of Salem were certainly the first independent women, healers, herbalists, and naturopaths. Beyond the murderous madness of the time, the world could have learned a lot from these women and their knowledge. To do good is to separate the good from the bad. Medicine today would perhaps have been much better with the help of these women and their ancient knowledge. The famous Salem witch trials were a massacre from the point of view of our time and reality. They were real assassinations inspired by popular misogyny. Somewhere, the world has lost a revolutionary feminine knowledge. Socrates had a different learning from other philosophers who chased glory and material pleasures. Socrates was in search of truth. He lived as a wanderer but it was part of his research and his community did not understand him. 
Moreover, he was perhaps searching for the origin of life and the meaning of it since he lived away from large cities and denied established beliefs. Socrates was a genius skeptic. At his trial, the majority of the power participants who were present at the trial hated him and his way of living. No one could defend him. The trial of Socrates was not a trial but an organized murder, because ethically and technically nothing was acceptable. The reason for his trial was not certain or necessary for a death sentence. In a fair and just trial, Socrates would have been judged by people with neutral opinions about him, or judged by people who did not know him. So in ethics, the notion of justice through discipline would have been valid. Obviously and real, Socrates was murdered and not judged as everyone believes. To know nothing is to begin by knowing yourself and acquiring what you do not know. In a few simple definitions, a philosopher is a seeker of truth. It is unfortunate but human civilizations have often turned to extreme methods of dismissing differing opinions as if life itself were insignificant. This is the pessimistic world of destructive skepticism. There will certainly be new forms of science in our world in the future, since in a way life has a part of timeless eternity.